Hello, good morning, my students. We are going to start with uh, Organic 2, Experiment 1, that is halogenation of phenol. As you can see here, these are the apparatus that we are going to use for this experiment. This, as you know, this is the conical flask. This is the measuring cylinder, which is about 50 ml, and this is also the measuring cylinders, which we are going to use. This is the boat. This is the watch glasses. And you know, this is the filtration apparatus. And these are the beakers and filter paper. So we are going to use all these apparatus. And the chemicals that we are going to use for this experiment is phenol, bromine water, and methanol as the solvent. Okay, I'm now going to tell you how to do the procedure. But this is a step one. I'm supposed to take, uh, as given in the procedure, the 0.2 grams of phenol. But we are taking phenol in the liquid state. So you know how to convert the gram into ml. So I'm going to take roughly 0.2 gram of phenol, which is maybe roughly around uh, around two, yeah, that's it. And to this, I'm going to add five ml of methanol. Very slowly, methanol is going to act as a solvent here. I just added around three, so another two more. So I've added around five ml of methanol. Now, coming to the third step where I'm going to add the bromine water. As you know, bromine is highly corrosive. Okay, before that I need to add around 5 ml of water to make it diluted more since we are going to add the bromine which is highly corrosive. I've just added 2.5. I need to add another 2.5 here. So I've added water. So my next step now is coming to bromine. Since we are doing halogenation of phenol, so in halogenation we are doing bromination. You have to be very careful when you open the bromine bottle. It's highly corrosive, it's highly concentrated. Now, as you can see the color of the beaker, it's right now, it's a colorless liquid, it's there, a solution. So when I add, I have to add bromine water, but how much? We should keep adding till you can see the brown color of the bromine should be remaining inside the conical flask. So when I add one or two drops, it's disappearing. So I need to still add. I should keep adding till the brown color dis remains inside the solution. So you can see here, it's adding drop by drop. Still, the color is disappearing. Actually, the product which is formed should be a white solid so you can see the white solid is formed, but still we need more excess of bromine to form the product.
Yes, as you can see now, a white precipitate is formed. But still, I don't find the brown color remaining inside. It's disappearing. So we keep adding till the brown color remains inside the solution. Yeah. Step three, we have got the product as you can see here, 246 tribromophenol. Okay. We are going to filter this product as you know how to do the filtration as, as you know these apparatus. So We are going to do filtration and then washing is needed. Okay, this is the last step. After filtration, you get the crude product. You know what do you mean by crude product, which has got a lot of impurities like excess of bromine water, plus our compound and the other solvents, which all will get dissolved. So we have taken now the crude product plus the solvent. The solvent is methanol water mixture, which is in a ratio of eight is to one. Okay. And now, as you can see, it starts boiling and the entire impurities, including the bromine water, will get dissolved in the solvent. All right. And we get a completely a pure compound. And that compound, again, once more, we are going to cool under ice. Okay. And then we go back again for filtration. And then after that, when, while filtration, we take the hot plate, I mean the filter paper, which is already weighed because we need to find the experimental yield here. So after the filtration, we dry the product and we go for weighing. And that is how we come to the experiment. So this step is the recrystallization step. We have to wait for the liquid to boil and then cool.